this is Kelly from Root Pursuit and today I have this little booklet that I've been playing around with and it's made up of two envelopes this envelope this right here is the top closer flap for this envelope and it comes across here and then for this one same exact situation this is the top flap of that envelope so uh, this is basically the same concept for making a envelope journal where they all just fold together. That's that's a confusing thing that the, happened at the retreat because someone said envelope journal and she meant the kind where you take a bunch of different size envelopes and fold them all together like this and then that wasn't it. We, we eventually got on the same page. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I've got all of these decorative envelopes. These were really cute ones. And I just want to we'll st start again. And I just wanted to find a couple that I kind of liked. I like this one. And I like that one. That one's pretty. These two would go together very well. And maybe these... or these two. I kind of like these two better. So those are the ones I'm going to do today. And I I know I went through all of these envelopes and I actually paper clipped them according to the size and shape. So all the similar ones were together so I could do these little projects. You know, you could use junk mail envelopes. There's no size, particular size. You could use plain envelopes. I just happen to have a ton of those. What did I do with them? Oh, here they are. <laughs> So I just always think about when I do these, including doing making an envelope journal, is you fold the flap over backwards. That's how it's all going to work out. So I really like this one for the front. And then this could go like that. Like so. And then this one will go like that. And that will be our middle. I think I like it. So we'll just glue those down. I'm just going to glue, I don't know, I'm going to glue this one first. So just fold it up and get everything lined up how I want it a little bit more. Okay, so what I like to do is just glue to the very edge of this envelope. And then go down here and to the very edge of this envelope. Looks like that one could use some reinforcing. And I love using these envelopes for this because you don't lose any of the, the images on the envelopes, which I really like. I'm just going to check this before. Yeah, let's just glue that down. Just get her glued. There we go. Now we'll go along the top. And once you have the base for this, there's so many things that you can do with it. But I'll show you what I'm going to do with it today. And then, of course, the great thing about these two is that, you know, you can cut the, the pockets and smish that down cut the pockets. Uh, this could be a top loading pocket or it could be a side loading. I like the side loading ones, but let me just see if this lands center. It should, theoretically. Now, I have a little piece of cardboard still in my cutter. And what I'm going to do is just take a little bit of slice. You don't have to do this step. This is a totally skippable step, but I just want mine to have a little bit of a spine, just a smidge of a spine like this. I don't know what that is. It's like a quarter of a centimeter. If that ruler is cracked, I don't know if it is. And then you can take this and glue it down 
on to and it just happens to be the same height as the envelope i don't know how that happened but it did and just make it center glue it on make sure it's nice and stuck before you start futzing around with it <laughs> i mean i'm not saying that i would ever play around with things before the glue is dry i'm not saying that i would do that i do that all the time um Ugh. and I'm a dork okay so getting this center is fairly important so do what you gotta do to make it centered this one I didn't quite center it but it's still forgiving it still looks good but yeah this one that one's totally dry. Okay, so now we've got that center. Aren't these envelopes so pretty? And then you can just take it along that seam and crease. Yeah, these envelopes are just a little bit wider. You know, they're kind of wide, not skinny, like uh, junk mail, bills, and things like that. You know what I mean. And so they kind of work better for this because they give you a little bit of wiggle room to create that little spine. And look how cute that is. Oh my gosh. And then what can you do? I mean, you could put a signature in here. I'm tempted to just make a hinged signature right now and, and put it in there. Just right in there I and I could put I'm gonna just show you so if you watch my yesterday's video or the previous video I made this thing I added all these glittery things and I ended up inking blue around the edge and I added these little notebooks on the sides so you can still see what's underneath they're glued down behind there and then you can just leave this or decorate it then you've got all these pockets so i just wanted to show that here and i put another scrappy notebook on the on the back so that turned out super cute and again it's this expandable spine which i love so i i could even put two signatures in here if i wanted to and it would be a one inch spine but for now, it just folds flat. How cool is that? Okay, that's super fun. I wanted to just show you that because that happens a lot. I like get done with the video and then I, then I go back and I keep adding. So I pulled out some pieces of ephemera that I've made before and I've got this little scrappy notebook and I've got this little fun little pocket. We can slide stuff in here like the scrappy notebook <laughs> are these like attached oh no they're not they're just a really good pocket so you can kind of slide stuff slide stuff in there it's really funky paper i use for that uh what else do we have we've got this and this is like a full service kind of already made it's got this cute little notebook got this little pocket over here I love this trick so you take a, a sticker and then you attach half the sticker to the pocket and then half the sticker to behind the pocket so it's kind of like a little surprise so this opens up also and flips out and there's pockets here and writing area and a pocket there so that was there was a video that I did a long time ago on this but and anywho, I think that would be a really nice addition to this little book. How cute, right? Yep. Okay. And maybe a pocket over here like that. I kind of want it to go this way, but I want that covered up. So why don't we just do some washi tape? That makes the most sense to me. Uh, washi tape. What do we want to use? Oh, I like this butterfly stuff. Hold on. Sometimes it's hard to... That's pretty. 
I know this is like kind of different from the style I've been doing lately, but I just, I really like this style and I wanted to revisit it because <laughs> it's colorful. Oh, there, that's perfect. So then I can put this on there. I kind of wish it was gusseted, but it'll be fine. Just some little tickets or something in there. I don't know. I imagine this is like a little organizer, like a little purse organizer or something like along those lines. Look how colorful this is. <laughs> and I, I know I grabbed some other things. There's this little envelope. This is a really uh, bulky envelope that I tried to make and I just it just used up so much paper for how big it is and it makes it really thick and I abandoned the idea. But that's cute. Uh, we've got a little pocket here. What else? Got a little uh, scrappy I don't know, brochure I call them. And there's this little pocket. There's this big pocket. And there's this pocket. This is basically the same, I think, as this thing. Which I do realize what I did wrong with this one. I did I may I needed this fold to come over here so that it was like this and this. But it's just it's not that bad. I don't want to cover this up that much. I know that for sure. So let me see here. And I don't really like any of that. I like this, but I don't for this. <laughs> I like it, but I don't. Um, this is cute, but I'm not sure how I feel about it. I think it could work, but I don't know. <laughs> I like it, but I don't. This I was going to add to that. Oh no, yeah, I was going to clip it. That's why. What do we have here? Yeah, just like a Kate Greenaway book page. They're so pretty. And then this just kind of wraps around, and then you chuck your paper clip and then it goes missing <laughs> yep I can grab a different paper clip I don't know why this one looks like a different kind of a silver to me I like that well that was a little Dr. Distracto I could put just a notebook and attach it paper clip style and I could use one of these red paper clips It'll look kind of Christmas. There's so many colors going on that it doesn't look Christmassy at all. And I could just sew this on. So I'm going to do it. It should be quick and easy and painless. Right? Yeah. So I only, because it's so small, I really only need two holes. So we're going to just do something. Actually, we're going to do something like this. That is where I want my stitches. That looks very centered. I'm gonna get myself like a pencil. Pencil? Okay, I got it. So like here. And here. There we go. Find my all I think my yep, my needles attached. Good. Oh, I need something underneath so I don't go wrecking my desk. Don't wreck your desk. Don't you love how quickly I can make a mess on my desk? It's like magic. I'm a little bit proud of it. I probably shouldn't be, but I am. <laughs> Just embrace. Embrace your quirks. That's what I say. all the way through oh yes I made very ugly little dents in my in my thing don't do that don't do it 
what else should I use? I should just use my um, glue book. Why don't you use your glue book? Oh, great idea. Ah. All right. So now, can I see my pencil mark? Barely. Okay, you move out of the way here. Oh, did you know these hair bands that you put on your hair? You can use them as uh, traveler's notebook elastic to keep a signature in. Yep, you sure can. Okay, we're gonna do this. Oh, that one's very easy. There, and it doesn't matter if there's holes in that book because it's my glue book. Okay, so we've got, now we need our darning needle and we need to determine which kind of thread. And in order to determine that, we need to look at the outside and say, what do you think is going to look good with this? I think this, oh, this one, definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the rest of you, scooch on out of here. Just get on your way. Get on your way. A uh, little bit of southern accent. Did you know? that I learned to speak the first seven years of my life with a southern accent until I moved to Wisconsin. Yep, I had a very strong southern accent. So every once in a while, it just kind of slips out. Plus my mother has a southern accent. Okay, uh, let's see. Although hers is sort of fading too because she's been in Wisconsin for a number of years. How many? 40. Exactly 40 years. That's a long time. Let's see. I don't know. I, how do you do it with two? Or, or I'm just going to make it up. I don't, I always do it with three. So how the heck do I do it with two? I should have made two, three holes. Well, it's, hopefully it just works. I just make it up. We're just making it up as we go. Okay. And it doesn't seem like it would be that difficult of a thing. You just pour it through and tie it up. It's the easiest thing in the world. Hm. I need you to stay over there. Don't go missing on me. Don't do that. <laughs> I was listening to somebody the other day and they were saying they were going golfing. And I, I was thinking... That's exactly how my mom says golf. She doesn't say the L. She says golf. Uh. And my mother-in-law from Wisconsin, she says, she doesn't really know, but she used to say milk. That was how you say milk. Milk. That doesn't, oh, that's tight enough. Okay, good. Whew. Excellent. And then this just goes all back together. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, wow, that's cute. Got a little scrappy notebook, got all these pockets inside. That came together fast. It's like a little book. We need something for the front. It needs to be beautiful. We could go subtle. Oh, my goodness. The bird, I think the bird would be better than more flowers. Uh, that's really pretty. I didn't choose this one last time, so maybe I need to choose it this time. I could still add a big butterfly to it, too. Okay, let's do that. Woo! Is it, is it too coordinated for the inside, and then you open it up? It's, it's, maybe it's too coordinated. Because you'll be, like, shocked, because it doesn't really represent accurately what's on the inside. Sometimes I do that. It's like everything I do even pay from page no 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 page to page kind of has different styles i don't know these aren't very good oh that's got a little quilling and a button that's pretty i think it's upside down i'm not loving it though it's not it's just not doing it for me not doing it Okay, I think all of these are clusters. 
I got these pink things here again. Oh man, those go really nicely with those. I got a tall one. Good gravy, that's pretty. <laughs> Maybe I've got something a little more. Just gonna keep tr trying them out. I kind of like that, uh, but it, it doesn't seem like it's big enough. Oh, that is really blendy, blendy, but very pretty. Okay, I'm going to keep it because I like it. There's this one from Robin. With the strawberries, which doesn't match at all. Got all these book page thing of jiggers, thing of doodles. Uh, it doesn't really, it's not speaking to me. I know, I could spend all day doing this. It's ridiculous. Be Jane. Everything looks really good on there, doesn't it? It's kind of cuckoo pants. If I add something <laughs> like really kaplawi. I put a big old butterfly over there. <laughs> I'm just gonna I mean, nothing's stopping me. I don't like you. You got to get flipped over. No, not you. Ooh, maybe this. The blues and the green. I kind of like that. Something feels off balance. I can't quite decide what it is. I need two butterflies? Oh, wait, hold on. One little one and one big one? I think we're getting close to something being right. <laughs> we're so close. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, you're too much. I know that's what they say about me sometimes, but uh, I keep wanting to grab like all these bright ones, the ones I can never find. Usually they're just too big. I need a smaller one. I have to check the front. That's where the smaller ones are. Okay. Well, that's a little dark. That's too dark. Just one little butterfly. That's all I need. Okay, we're skipping it. We're going to put this on, and then we'll go from there. Because something will go right there. I don't know what it's going to be yet. And I'm going to put this on. Steger Meyer Malt Extract. I know you can't hardly see it disappeared into the background. Good gravy. I should have pushed that over more, but no. And the butterfly looks fantastic. Oh, it's a little raised one. Well, I'm gonna, I usually do this. I just kind of take that off. Let's peel her off. I'm not into it. They even had the sticky still on it, but I'm not doing it. Not for me. Okay, and then we need something right there. And lately, I've been doing these things. I just do. Not you. Oh, you're so picky. No. Mm, no. This has a little butterfly on it. I mean, hmm. Thinking about it. Thinking about it while still looking through here. I don't know. It's not quite. 
right, right. Hmm. Should we do it? Should we do it? Should we just go for it? I think it's nice. I just have this thing like, oh, it could be better. But it looks really good. It's like a mint now. Hold on. Good gravy. Just make a decision. Okay. Um, oh, I made a lot of these. Got all these labels. So many of them. Well, let me just pull this whole thing out. What do you have in here? Anything? Turns out you need some the other direction. Uh, I have this. I kind of like that. Are these all the same? I don't even remember making all these. This is a lot. I should put them in there. Okay, I'm going to try this. Are you ready for it? I do like it. Hmm. Woohoo. Got these. Little bow stamp things. Where's my blue? Yeah, my blue. I think this will help. I lost my blue ink for a while and I was very sad. I thought it was gone forever. And then it just showed up magically right on my desk. And I said, I'm not asking any questions. I'm just glad you're here. All right, I finally made a decision. Dun, dun, dun. And then I can put this down here. Really overdo it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind it with the blue. I do want to just trim these. Where's my scissors? They're under there. I need some. If I grab them, the, the, there will be a craft lunch. Okay, that's better. Now. Yep. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Ta-da! Oh, isn't that pretty? And through the magic of television, the YouTube fairies uh, came and cleaned up my desk for me because you knew I was never going to do it. So it's a good thing they're there to help me out. <laughs> and I'm really happy with this uh, cover. I am. Oh, there's a little spot right here. We need to, we need to get down on the paper. get down okay and then I've got this little tie so I can add some something wonderful to it if I feel I couldn't really tie it tight I don't know how to do that <laughs> Ugh. it works better with three sing oh my gosh it's floating. <laughs> we're gonna need to do something about that that's, that's not really gonna work Maybe if I just twist it. I know, these are the ideas that I have. Twist it into a knot. Then what are you going to do? I don't know, I didn't think that far ahead. Alright, so this needs to be shorter. And twistier. I need a bead. A big old bead. What would you do with your beads? I got some up here. Hold on. This, I think, is the one. Kind of looks like a faux rock crystal. I mean, crystal. 
That's what I meant to say. Uh, yeah. Can you make it through there? Not really. Okay. I'm going to pull on one end. Pull on the other. There. That's the one. or why that worked but it did so I'm just gonna take this tie a knot call it a day okay you're not going anywhere oh that's pretty with the little bead on there I like it Whoop. oh very happy with this is this upside down it's just sideways okay good <laughs> Is this upside down? No, it's not. All right. Well, that is super cute. All right. I hope you make one of these because it, it really was easy. You can put anything in here. You can just make a little signature of papers, random, random papers. Chuck them in there. Or, you know, if you need any like little smaller folios. The one thing I did forget to do is cut these little pockets open so they're functional. And yes, I do. I do like them like that. Ooh, I should add a little washi tape to the back. Ooh, you can make these little ephemera keepers too. I'm gonna use a different slice, slice, little whatever, a little piece. Hmm, that's pretty. Just go the whole way. I'm gonna I'm gonna glue this better. Where's my ooh? -hoo? Where are you when I need you? It's not that I don't trust this why she takes but than I needed, but all good. What's that? I don't know. Marks. I'm really happy with this. It's very cute. And there's two notebooks in it and little storage. You know what else it needs is little tabs. Yep. See, these are the things that I would just be like, oh, I'll do it after the video. It's not that I that I try to do it after. It's just, it just happens. All of a sudden, I look at it for a while, and I decide, oh, you know what? You need something else. So when you do this, you get you have to put it on the inside of the envelope. Like that. And that's how that sticks out. So not too far. Is this going to... Oh, you know what's really funny about this? It's going to cover up that washi tape. <laughs> So I didn't even need to do it. So that's funny. But I like to do that. It just gives another visual cue that this is, in fact, a pocket. There. I want it sticking out a little bit. Oh, and of course the washi tape is... Oh, it's not the washi tape. It's the envelope. It's not sticking. Got that handled. What about this side? Let's re reinforce it. There we go. Those seem fine. Nope. This one needs it too. Can't be doing that. Well, this is so colorful. Sometimes you just need a little color in your life. That's what I needed today. And I'm going to blue it up. All these little things, they really do add up to make it really special. Just like me. I'm special. All right. 
Look at how fun. And the spine looks really cute. I could even add little buttons or more beads to dangle down. And I could use, I could, I could probably put another tab on this guy over here. Anything interesting? This guy. I'll try this one. Okay. And not using as much distress ink lately. Just I'm a little fatigued with having to ink everything. As I as I just inked all the outside. But I really that was it. That was all I did. The other stuff I just let it go. Normally I would ink around every little thing. I didn't. I did I just let it be. There we go. There we got two little things. This is so cute. Look at how cute that is. Alright, you should make one of these. You should do it. Alright. Well, as oh no, not yet. Also, I have this little envelope. These are just like high gloss book page book pages. Yeah, they are book pages, and I make them into envelopes. And so I was thinking of maybe putting this in. You can hinge them. So you just fold it a little bit over and then attach it. But you fold it this way if you want it on this side. And then fold it this way if you want it on that side. Don't forget that. I am going to, of course, decorate this a little bit. Washi tape is fun to use on these. And then little pieces of ephemera. So I'm going to play with that. I'm going to put this right in here. So there's lots of variations that you can make. And now I'm ready to say it. As always, thanks for coming along and I'll talk to you later.